Welcome back to the Max Revision Made Meticulous video series. Day 2 Topic Integral and Indefinite Integration. Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over previously learned information, ensuring that it is clear that and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. In day two, we will be seeing evaluating indefinite integral. But the standard formula of integration of the function f of x can be extended for functions of the form f of ax plus b. Today we are going to see how to do the integration of functions of the form f of ax plus b. Here we should be very careful. ax plus b is a linear factor. What is the meaning of linear factor? The power of x is 1. Therefore, instead of sin x, we may have sin 2x. Instead of cos x, we may have cos 3x. Instead of 1 by x, we may have 1 by 3x minus 4. Instead of x square, you may have 3x plus 4 the whole square like that. How to do it? Method to evaluate it. Just extend the formula and divide that by the derivative of ax plus b. And the derivative of ax plus b you can remember like this also. Divide by the coefficient of x. You should be very careful. Divide by the coefficient of x. For example, we are having a formula integral x power n dx as x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Suppose you have 2x minus 3 whole square. Now, if, you, if it is x square, it is x cube by 3. If it is 2x minus 3 the whole square, it is 2x minus 3 the whole cube by 3 multiplied by 1 by 2. That is, we are dividing by the coefficient of x. Here I have shown the coefficient of x in some other different color. It is 2, therefore we are dividing by 2. Extend the formula and divide by the derivative of ax plus b or you can keep it in mind that divide by the coefficient of x but you should be very careful if the coefficient of x is a negative number for example 3x minus x whole power 4 x power 4 is x power 5 by 5 therefore 3x minus 5 whole power 5 by 5 you have to divide it by minus 1 because the coefficient of x is minus 1 over here similarly Suppose you have <coughs> the formula 1 by x dx is log x dx. <coughs> if you have 1 upon 3x minus 5, the same thing, log of 3x minus 5. The coefficient of x is 3 for divide by 3 or divide by the derivative of 3x minus 5. Once again, if the coefficient of x is a negative number, you should be a little bit careful. It is log of 4 minus 3x here divided by the derivative, the derivative of 4 minus 3x is minus 3. We are dividing by it. We are having a formula integral sin x dx as minus cos x. If it is sin 2x, it is minus cos 2x by 2. If it is sin 5 minus 2x, it is minus cos 5 minus 2x by minus 2. Okay, after learning this, we will do some problems where if you do some simplification, it will get reduced to a stage where you have to apply the evaluation of integral of the form f of ax plus b. Now this is one question, x plus 2 upon x plus 1 whole square. Normally we will try to uh, simplify the denominator, numerator is x plus 2, write it as x plus 1 plus 1. Now split it into two integral, x plus 1 upon the denominator plus 1 upon the denominator. The first term will become 1 upon x plus 1, second term will, be will become 1 upon x plus 1 whole square. We are applying a formula now, 1 by x is log x, 1 by x square is minus 1 by x. But anyway, x, 1 by x square is x power minus 2 and uh, by doing the formula, you will get that minus 1 by x. But we are extending the formula. Here, the coefficient of x in both the cases is 1. Therefore, no need to divide it by 1. Well, question number 2. <coughs> These types of problem, um, already you know what you have to do. You have to rationalize the denominator. What you have to do? Multiply and divide by root 3x plus 4 plus square root of 3x plus 1. In the denominator, you will have a minus b into a plus b. Therefore, you will get a square minus b square. Therefore, 3x plus 4 minus 3x plus 1 in the denominator. <coughs> when you expand the bracket 3x, 3x getting cancelled, you are getting 3. Now, you have to split the integral into 2. 1 by 3 into integral of root 3x plus 4 minus 1 by 3 into square root of 3x plus 1. Here, we are going to use the formula root x 
it is x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 or you can um, remember it as 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2. Here I am extending the formula but in both the cases the coefficient of x is 3 or the derivative of 3x plus 4 is 3 for we are dividing by the answer that is 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 3x plus 4 whole power 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 once again minus 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 3x plus 1 whole power 3 by 2. Good. Now suppose if you are having cos square x or sin square x, how to do it? We have a formula for cos 2x as 2 cos square x minus 1. Making use of that formula, it is 1 plus cos 2x upon 2 by bringing that uh, 2 cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x by 2. Suppose if the question is sin square x, it will be 1 minus cos 2x by 2. Okay, anyway. Now we split the integral into 2. The first integral is half into dx. Second integral is half into cos 2x dx. For half into x, because we are having a formula, integral dx is x and integral cos x is sin x. We are extending the formula for integral cos 2x. It is sin 2x upon 2. Therefore, the final answer is x by 2 plus sin 2x upon 4 plus c. Here we are extending the formula of integral cos x for integral cos 2x. Similarly, they may ask you cos cube x and sin cube x. In that case, what you have to do? You have to make use of the formula for either cos 3x or sin 3x based on the situation. Here cos 3x is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Therefore, cos cube x is <coughs> cos 3x <coughs> plus 3 cos x upon 4. Split the integral into 2. 1 by 4 integral cos 3x plus 3 by 4 into integral cos x. But integral cos x is sin x. Therefore, first integral will be sin x upon 3, sin 3x upon 3. Next one will be simply integral sin x. Therefore, you are getting the final answer like this. Here, we are extending the formula of integral cos x as integral cos x is equal to sin x. For integral cos 3x is sin 3x by 3. Okay. <coughs> Once again, let us move on to question number 5. Evaluate integral sin square x cos square x dx. We are having a formula for sin 2x, 2 sin x cos x. We will try to use that formula to reduce this question. Here we are having sin square cos square, therefore divide by 4, multiply and divide by 4. 4 sin square cos square x will become 2 sin x cos x the whole square. Now you apply the formula for sin 2x, it is 2 sin x cos x, therefore this is 1 by 4 into sin integral sin square 2x. Now we are having a formula for cos 2x as 1 minus 2 sin square x. We used the same formula to integrate cos square x in the previous case. Here we are going to use the other form of formula of cos 2x to integrate sin square 2x. Now remember when cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x, what will become cos 4x? It will be 1 minus 2 sin square 2x. Therefore, in the left hand side, if it is a multiple angle, the right hand side is an ordinary angle. For from this formula, we can get a formula for sin square x. It is 1 minus cos 2x by 2. But when it is sin square 2x, it will be 1 minus cos 4x by 2. When it is sin square 3x, it will be 1 minus cos 6x by 2. It will be a multiple of that. Therefore, it is 1 minus cos 4x by 2. Please note it. If it is sin square x, it is 1 minus cos 2x by 2. If it is sin square 2x, it will be 1 minus cos 4x upon 2. When it is sin square 3x, it is 1 minus cos 6x upon 2 and so on. For we are splitting the integral into 2. 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into integral dx minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into integral cos 4x. You can keep 1 by 8 out, outside also. Now we are going to use the formula integral dx as x and integral cos x dx as sin x only. But in the first one, it is simply x. In the second one, it is integral cos 4x. Therefore, it is sin 4x upon 4. We have to divide by the coefficient of x or derivative of that 4x. That's all. Both are one at the same where we are getting the final answer. Therefore, today we have seen how to extend the formula of integration for functions of the form f of ax plus b. Remember, this can be extended only if you are having linear factor in place of x. 
Suppose if you are having sin 3x plus 4, cos 3x plus 4, 1 upon x plus 3 like that only. Suppose if you are having sin of x square plus 3, please don't try to apply this formula, extend this formula. Well, success is dependent on efforts. All the best to all.